Welcome to Oracle Wednesday. I'm Ethany and it is the first Oracle Wednesday of 2020. Boy, do I feel old and which I guess is I know is a blessing, but it is the first one of a new decade. It is so crazy that we have a Wednesday for the first day. I'm very excited for you all to pick your cards this week. So how does it work if this is the first time you have dropped by? In a moment, I am going to show you some piles of cards. You are going to pick the pile of card that you feel the most drawn to. We're going to come on back and I'm going to share with you the messages for this week. Now, the message is for the 1st of January through to the 7th of January. And then on the 8th, there'll be another Oracle Wednesday. So let's all have a look-see at the pile of cards and you can pick which one is speaking. Okay, my lovely ones, here are your piles of cards. It's time for you to select your pile. Starting from left to right, we have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Pick whichever one you feel the most drawn to or which one you feel has the message you need to hear for this week. Write down what pile you have selected and let's move on to your messages revealed. Okay, now let's get on to your messages revealed. The first pile, pile number one, we have got the Six of Cups. You can probably hear the dog behind me. If you're hearing any noises, that's just Thor chewing on an hour. <laughs> so we have the Six of Cups and release. You may be able to figure out what I'm about to say. So there is no time like right now to release yourself from all the things from the past that may have been holding you back from moving forward. You now have 364 days to make the most out of 2020 and you can achieve a lot more without a lot of those burdens and grudges weighing you down. Allow this to be a process. That is one of the important things about releasing the past and its hold on you. It needs to be something that you are willing to to take time, not just a one-time declaration that you've decided you're done with everything and dropping everything. It's kind of not the way the world works and it's certainly not the way our bodies work and our emotional bodies work. Things take time to unravel and to truly be settled and to truly heal. It's likely to be work that requires you to adjust, change and keep on healing. Is this the time? Well, the fact that you have picked pile number one would say that it is. It could be something that you brought over or, um, you know, potentially be bringing over. Hopefully after this, you won't be from 2019 or it could be something that you have been carrying around for years. Your future is not in the past. You're simply not going that way and dragging things up is not helping anybody involved. Free yourself from what has been weighing you down or at least stopping you from trying again or stopping you from moving forward. You simply don't have time for that. Well, you do, but it would be a waste of it. I know it's probably a little dramatic, but there you go. I'm going to say it. So releasing the past and things held from the past that you've been holding on to from the past that are holding you back is certainly a great way to start the new decade. Pile number two, we have got justice and sovereignty. Make sure that's the right way. Okay. And your message for this coming week in the first week of 2020 is that you are so much more powerful than you may feel at the moment. You may have recently have been wronged or feel as though you have no control over anything in your life, but the good news is is that is only temporary. What you can do right now is reclaim your energy, take it back, reclaim and redefine the story and take it back from others and remember who you are at the core. One of the things that I love and there's a little um, a, a temporary tattoo that I had a little while ago, but it was something that a mantra that I actually give myself when I'm feeling a little out of sorts is that I tell myself like, remember who you are. Um, and then I will say over and over to myself, 
if I have to, if I'm feeling really low, if I need myself to be my own cheerleader, um, I'll say over and over to myself who I am. Uh, and that could be the, the total, you know, a lot of the other things, you know, I am a, I am a daughter and I am a mother and I am a friend and I am a priestess of Athena and I am a witch and I am an author and there goes my dog again. <laughs> and just remembering all of those things really brings it back into perspective of just how much control or power I have in a situation. Even if it is something that has been external to me, I can control and cultivate my own mind. Remember that other people, what other people think of you does not define who you are. Only you get to do that. Sure, your actions will absolutely define who you are. But if people are simply just saying things about you that are not true, remember it's not your job to prove them wrong. Time will prove them wrong and your actions will also prove them wrong. Let petty people gossip. Cultivate your inner self to be at peace and as possible, positive as possible. The universe will take the garbage out for you. I'm going to press pause and get the toy off the dog. Okay, so group number three, it is your turn. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, so the seven of wands is your first card. And your second card is surrender. Someone, this is you, group number three, you need to calm your farm and very quickly. You have either been really being pushing the envelope in regards to being quick to anger or being overly relentless with the way that you have been doing things and you, the way that you want others to do things. And you are being, yeah, like I said, called out. There is, if you're under stress, if there is totally, which is, you know, it happens, but if you're under stress and you have this thing bubbling underneath you, that every time you get triggered, you are like getting mad at people or you're pitching for a fight or you go out looking for one, um, then this is a reminder that you need to like, whoo, calm down a little bit. Um, you need to calm down. In the wise words of Taylor Swift, you need to calm down. Um, bringing things back to a place of a little bit more peace. You will find that you make a lot more progress and a lot more friends if you let up being a control freak uh, for a hot second and let things get back into the flow. The benefits of taking a step back are allowing you to relax a little bit. Stress is no good for the body. It'll flat out make you sick. It's exhausting and makes you run down. And then you're going to find you're going to be back in that seven of wands energy of having to defend yourself and your energy by healing and, you know, maybe apologizing or putting your defenses up because you've actually put yourself in that situation to begin with. The seven of wands can often be a really positive card of defense and boundaries, but at this stage, you are being asked to kind of let go a little bit of what's been going on, delegate, um, look at being a little bit more flexible, come back into the middle a little and get back into flow of surrender. Basically, give it up for a hot second. It may actually feel a little bit better than trying to control absolutely everything and holding everything too tightly. Hello, my snoodle. The dog has decided, <laughs> you can see him. Hello, my babies. You did not like the mummy took that toy away, did you? No, nope. you hated it. He's gonna start barking in two seconds, you watch. But that is group number three. Okay, so the decks that I've used this week. The first one is the Clover Tarot. <clears throat> and of course, I have got these decks in, the links to these decks in the description box below and I'm pretty sure now this is a deck I've had for a while now but I'm pretty sure I have an unboxing of this deck on my channel it's so beautiful it's been um, a working deck of mine since I got it so this one has done many many readings and I really really like it it's quite stunning so that's the clover tarot and then the other deck is my wake and soul oracle which is going to be back very soon especially oh I'm very excited you can join the wait list I think I've been saying that for a while now because I've been working on getting lots of things done It's my deck. There is a walkthrough of the first edition on my channel. And I 
the decks that I've used for this week. No, not very much to say. Basically just said it all in the Oracle Wednesday. That is it, my treasures. I hope that that has resonated with you. And as always, thank you so very much for watching.